guys, it's Steve over at Dual Screens. I'm here with James Deegan, our old friend. We're back. And now, Bite the Bullet is imminent. So, it, you got you to tell us all about Bite the Bullet. So, so, Bite the Bullet is the world's first run and gun and eat. So, very deep gameplay for a run and gun. Four character classes, all based on strategic food and eating decisions. You have your omnivore, your herbivore, your carnivore, and your robivore, that means you eat metal. Interesting. So each character skill tree has 50 nodes, tons of unique opportunities to build out a custom character and explore as a very lean running gunner or a slightly more tankish, high HP mouth breather. Now I could be making this up, but I feel like you told us this once. This is your first game that's not built for the retro consoles, is that it's right? True. So yeah, in, in the past, every game has always had a retro start, and then if we did a PC version, all that feature set would happen later, more iteratively. So this game, we did the opposite. So we actually made the PC current gen console first, and then made a separate prequel called Bite the Bullet First Course. Ooh, and what do we know about that one? So, recently announced, and we actually have a demo that we'll have on the show floor tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. It's a Metroidvania, right. so a fully unique genre, and it built out the Bite the Bullet universe. Awesome. So you, so you didn't take the approach of like actually just de-porting... New art, like, new sprite, new design, and just uh, we're so committed to eating-based games, we had to take it <laughs> one notch up. So you did, um, you sent me over like a documentary that you guys are working yeah. on. Can you tell us about the documentary a little bit? So it's a history of food and games, and we have some great interviews in it, tons of content. And it really goes through all the different unique innovations that uh, our favorite medium, gaming, has had uh, through the last 30, 40 years. Where? We have a sizzle of it on the arcade over here. And then we have our first press exclusive copy. So we only made 30. And two of them went to you guys. Ooh. Of, uh, our, our unofficial uh, eat, play, love. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and is this going to be something that people can watch soon? Like a yeah, so we're working through the final details now on where it's going to be distributed, but we have sizzles and lots of free ways to watch it. Oh, huh. well, there you go. We all, everybody loves free. Uh, what else you got working on, man? You still got your your retro stuff coming out? So we have some killer retro stuff. Yeah? You know, Phantom Gear has been usually popular for us. So Phantom Gear, we're going to have a new updated build tomorrow for everyone to oh, check okay. out. Cool. If you haven't played Phantom Gear, it's definitely like a love letter to the Sega Genesis. That really bright, wild palette, very fast gameplay. Uh, of course, Tanger's here, Lethal Wedding, Zombies Get My Neighbors types of vibes. Yeah. The meeting is finally complete, so the meeting will be I, You out. know, I thought something felt different because <laughs> I was playing and I was like, why? I don't remember this working last time. I, I feel like I'm doing something good. You know, that's yeah, awesome. so a year ago, we were just early stage in development, so we put all the finishing touches, the balancing, all the little uh, polish that makes the game great. It's all packed in and ready to be served up. Mega Cat Studios, guys, you gotta check them out. You gotta do it. James, good people. Good people. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Love you. <laughs>